I think it's just a basic human right to be able to live in safety with your family. My name is Jennifer and my title is Refugee AmeriCorps Cultural Orientation Specialist. It's quite long, very official. Participating in task force directly led me to this position and then I already had the background to be even eligible for this position because of having done the task force so it was definitely completely interconnected. So over the last 33 years, Task Force has grown to cover issues that are important not only to our government but also to um, private companies and NGOs uh, in our region. It is a uh, senior capstone seminar that brings together what the students learn in their classes and their, during, their, during the time they spend uh, in the Jackson School. They're given some real-world problems and they're expected to research this problem and then develop actionable solutions to the problem that they work on. I'm Zane Abid. I'm a senior at the University of Washington here in Seattle, and I'm in the Jackson School of International Studies as an undergraduate student. I participated in uh, a task force on uh, nuclear, nuclear power in the United States as well as its future uh, around the world. Going into college, I wanted something that would both hone my research skills and prepare me for the professional world. I really thought Task Force did that because it's a program that highlights collaboration, team building, management, and other responsibilities. And it applies research skills and theory to real world issues such as climate change and international security. At the conclusion of the 10 weeks of task force, we had our evaluation day. Our evaluator was Dr. John Deutsch, who was the former Deputy Secretary of Defense and the former Director of Central Intelligence under the Clinton administration. I really enjoyed that process, and I think I gained a lot from being grilled by a former head of the CIA. I aspire to become a lawyer uh, and practice law, and I think energy law is an interesting practice area that I haven't been exposed to. So learning about the energy industry was something that I wanted to do. Instead of uh, having some um, theoretical or speculative discussion about issues, they're required to think about what's going on in the world and uh, the solutions that they propose are supposed to be uh, actionable uh, and realistic. So today we're going to learn what to do if you have an emergency. And you can say, my child fell and broke their leg. Uh, my or, task force was on the um, Syrian refugee help. crisis and what the U.S. response should be to that crisis. Through researching the common European asylum system and seeing just how broken the immigration law system is, and then through other experiences I've had here in the U.S. working with immigrants and refugees, and just, it just all kind of came together to make me realize, like, changing the immigration law system is what I'm interested in. And so that's led me to now applying for law school and that's where I'm going after JFS. I think Task Force is both a academic and social experience. Uh, gave me a lot of ability to grow as a student and a future professional. Zain Abid. Task Force is really an environment in the community for me to jump into something that I didn't know a lot about, be expected to produce a professional report, and be successful at it with the help and support of my groupmates, my instructor, and the community of uh, the Jackson School. 